Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy, and on this channel I talk about, uh, need a new intro, guys. What do we talk about? Whatever the f I want to talk about. So this video is actually inspired by a lot of your questions. Um, I know I don't usually directly answer them I get asked a lot if there is a way to summon good spirits only, or if a person can decide who they're summoning or what they're summoning, or if they can contact a certain deity, disincarnate, uh, angel, demon, whatever, um, entity, whatever it happens to be. and. And if there's a way to ensure that it'll be a, a good one rather than a, a bad one. <laughs> so first of all, the concept of good and evil, the duality of good and evil is a human construct. And if you believe in it, then that is entirely up to you. Humans in live human form are the ones that are kind of caught up in this like good versus evil, light versus dark, like stereotype, stigma, social construct. It is very human. It's also very Christian, very Christianity like influenced concept, religion in general influenced concept, this good versus evil. So there are, there's some things about this that I want to cover. Frankly, if you're asking me if something is good or bad, then I don't think that you should be attempting it because you are not in a place where you are comfortable making that decision for yourself. If you have to ask somebody if something is going to be, if something is going to go a certain way before you attempt it, then don't. Uh, wait till you're ready. Don't don't attempt uh, sorcery or spell work unless you feel confident that you're ready to attempt it. As far as like only summoning good or evil spirits and the materials used, specifically people ask me if they can use a blood to summon only good spirits. And I just, you know, I... I ignore this question a lot and it has been, it's just been getting to me. So here we are. Frankly, if you're thinking of spirits in the good versus evil dual framework, then you're not ready for this and you shouldn't be summoning anything. That is not to say a person shouldn't be careful and cautious and prepared before summoning anything, invoking anything, contacting anything, even v via divination. Quite on the contrary, you should practice and you should be prepared. And um, you shouldn't go into something that you're scared of. <laughs> if you're like afraid of trying something, then um, if you're afraid of trying something, you should probably not try it. Okay, what am I getting at? Good versus evil doesn't really exist. It's something that we invented. Because of that, when, when you're dealing with spirits, you can't put them in one bucket or the other. You can't look at a spirit and identify, or an entity, a deity, whatever. You cannot look at something that is non-human and identify which bucket it belongs in and then decide you only want to work with that that thing. I'm not saying that you have to be open to all types of spirits or entities in order to work with them. What I'm saying is that if you're not certain you want to contact a certain entity, then you probably shouldn't. And frankly, I find it disrespectful. You wouldn't ask someone when they came to tea if they were good or evil and then only let them in based on their answer. Even in humanity, right, we all accept that there are things about people that we like and things about people that we don't like and then we make decisions about whether or not we're going to accept having them in our life and, you know, it help them work on the things that aren't great or 
ignore them, get past them, love them in spite of their flaws, whatever. It's all subjective. Like what I find as a flaw in one person, some you're not going to find as a flaw in that person because it's subjective and it doesn't have anything to do with whether or not a person is good or bad. With spirits, you can't even employ that mindset when you're talking about them. You really can't look at spirits that are normally considered ben benign or spirits that normally get a bad rap and say like, these are the good ones and these are the bad ones. Oh my gosh, there's so many things wrong with this question. <laughs> if you only want to communicate with good spirits or you only want to invoke good entities, then do some research on the specific type of entity and perform a ritual that will be accepted by that specific entity and summon them. If you're not sure if an entity is going to accept your offering, then Either you need to do more research or you need to try it and find out. If you're talking about using blood to summon entities and you're not sure how to do it, maybe don't. Frankly, I think it's rude like and disrespectful to to label spirits as good or bad and and then like to associate them as to say like, oh, I'm I'm a good person. I'd like to think that I'm a good person. I'm a good person. I don't do black magic or or forbidden, forbidden sorcery, like I don't, you know, I don't try to kill people, so I'm, um, I only deal with good spirits. Like that's so childish. It's so shallow and immature. How are you going to make a judgment on whether or not a spirit is good or bad? How are you gonna do that? Are you going to, what, like look at the way that they're dressed? or like the type of work that they usually do and, and assign some moral value to them. Like you can't do that. How are you gonna qualify an entity, a non-human entity as good or bad? Should I make flashcards and hold them up? Freya, good or bad? Anubis, good or bad? Pixies, leprechauns, demons, angels, good or bad? Are you just shaming non-human entities? Are you just like looking at them and their lore and stuff and being like, I don't like the way you look. All goth and shit. Disemboweled one of your husbands. I don't want you in here. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't want you. If like, if you're at the, is it good or bad stage, you're not gonna get a response from anyone you want to get a response from. They're gonna be like, bye bitch. <laughs> what matters is what you need done. So if you're summoning a spirit so that you can get something done, summon a spirit that can do that thing or is willing to do that thing. If, if you're having an ethical dilemma over which spirits to summon and which ones not to, then don't, maybe. Or like figure it out before you try. I just, it's rude. It's so inconsiderate and it's disrespectful. You don't have to kowtow to like to other entities. It's, it's, there's a like a reason that they will make deals with us and it's because we have something that they want. We're willing to give them something that they want. I mean, like, are you gonna ask, like, are you gonna ask them to take a test? Like, are you a good one or a bad one? Or like, are you gonna be like, have you ever killed someone? Then like, you're not the one I want? Or is it just like purely by looks? Like, cause like, let's talk about that, okay? Let's talk about like angels versus demons, for example. If you have an idea that angels are heavenly and light and good and only like heal people and help people and return puppies and heal sick, sick children and stuff, then you're buying into a Christian fairy tale. And if you have an idea that demons live in hell and it's fiery and uh, that's where Lucifer is, the, uh, used to be angels and, and now they only just kill people and wreak havoc and again, it's a Christian fairy tale. And if that is where you are, no judgment, whatever you believe is yours, it's your own and far be it for me to tell you you're wrong. I can't, I don't know everything. And uh, it's subjective. <laughs> like, I'm gonna believe in things that you're not necessarily gonna believe in. And the more I practice and the more I learn, the more my beliefs change. I don't associate with angels 
they to me do not represent morality and I've seen them do some shady shit. So then is a demon who usually tends to just be fairly mercenary and will do whatever they're asked based on a payment, payment in exchange for a service, service in exchange for a payment, like you make a deal with them. So are you looking for someone to do some shady shit for you? Or are you just looking to make your own life a little bit better? What are you planning to do? Like, don't put this off on some other entity and be like, Th those, I only work with the good ones. Like, who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to convince? Magic is going to affect the people around you. Magic is taking control of your life and changing it, changing the world around you to suit your preference. There is no way that that doesn't affect somebody else at some point. Like, even if you're doing a spell to get a new job, right? There are other people that are going for that job, which means you are directly affecting their lives by influencing your chances of getting that job. So is that good or is it bad? There is no like, Minion's a queen. With serious sorcery. There just isn't. And if you're not ready to accept, embrace, and sort through your own moral conflict and decide what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do, then you're not ready until you can do that. You have to take, you have to have a serious conversation with yourself and take responsibility for who you are and what you want done. Instead of getting hung up maybe on whether or not the spirits that are gonna come to you are good or bad like maybe you should focus on whether or not you're even capable of summoning one whether or not you're even capable of communicating with another entity whether or not you're able to contact and hold one's attention like do you even have something that they want are you capable of that kind of spell work is that something that you are practiced enough and committed enough to do and if so does it matter who answers your call shouldn't it be whoever is most able to assist you and if you are trying to contact somebody specific then you should really already have a good idea of what they stand for and who they are and what they want as an offering and if you don't then you need to do more research Everything you do has consequences. Whether or not those consequences are comfortable for you or for somebody else, I cannot say, and I can't predict that for you. But everything you do has consequences and you are the person who has to bear them. I don't give a shit if you're trying to use your period blood to summon an angel or something like, oh my God, and, 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 and if you've got a sign over your door, right? That's like only the good spirits can come in. What makes you think that a spirit can't lie to you or disguise their appearance to make themselves look like something that you're not going to be threatened by? Do you really want to be that kind of a sorcerer? Like the kind that has to be coddled and held by the hand? Like, do you want to Hansel and Gretel it? Like, do you want to go into a house made of candy only to find that you're going to be devoured? If you're asking questions about whether or not spirits that are going to come and speak to you or help you out or trade services for payment are uh, good or bad, then you're hung up on the wrong shit and you shouldn't be doing this yet. Don't do it yet. Just don't. So my hair is pink and it was not meant to be, um, but here we are. I don't really know how to do an outro. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to. Still rebuilding my website. It's in progress, but pretty soon I'll have services and things up. I have two short books, one on elemental magic and another one on twin flames. And if you subscribe to my email list, which I rarely send emails out on, <laughs> then you also get like a free, like fast magic evocations pdf book thing which is fun support me on patreon if you want thank you so much for the people who do 
And um, thanks for listening to me rant again. And hey, I mean, you know, if you keep asking me crazy stuff in the comments, eventually I guess I do answer some of it. I'm gonna stop rambling now. <sighs> okay. <laughs>